Hello guys, welcome back to Chamber of Chess. Today I'm going to show you a friendly game I played uh, versus Edward before a Las Vegas tournament in 2021. Actually the one I won in my section under 1700, but it was like a warm-up game before a big tournament. So here I am playing black and we, I think we we're playing 15 plus 5 or 10. And uh, this is uh, Nimzo Indian defense. I really like this since I got a chance to, well, keep this knight under pin and develop my bishop through Fianchetto. Just so you know, Fianchetto is whenever you develop your bishop through this diagonal, not like, you know, d6, bishop d7, and like in this direction, but more like on this, the biggest diagonal. So, d6, which is a good idea to keep your pawns op opposite to the bishop color bishop f3 uh, maybe not the best idea though it's still fine actually the first line here because we want to expose the enemy king and double his pawns knight e7 king h1 uh, maybe we would give this position slightly worse for white because he has two bishops but this one is passive and uh, all pawns are on the board position is closed so knights are really a big help here e5, bishop f5, and we trade, though maybe not the smartest idea, maybe something like g6 to keep this bishop restricted. Take, take, queen c4, bishop h6 putting more pressure, of course I have to sacrifice an exchange, c8 putting more pressure, queen f5, I didn't feel like I understand this move, maybe more like opening the position since well rooks they have to play and uh, queen f5 rook c7 rook d6 queen c3 not bad well he's really aiming for rook d8 checkmate so trade is good for me i should have really played um like h5 to well, just to attack the rook and give an extra square for my king, improve the pawn. Because uh, after rook c1, knight e1, and we repeated moves. Actually, he could have played something like uh, queen, no, I mean king e2, knight e5. Queen knight in the center. Well, two rooks are still two rooks, though. They are weak pawns, but, I mean, I have to play really accurately here not to let him penetrate on my territory, and I cannot trade rooks, since one rook is still gonna beat me versus my knight. So here, of course, he's gonna block, rook c3, and, um, well, the position, I would say, potentially good for white though generally it's equal since knight and two pawns are more than enough compensation but here we just agreed for a draw though again like i would actually play white here more than black because exchange is an exchange and whenever you get a chance it's easier for you to attack weak pawns that's all for today guys it was just a friendly game and uh, in the meantime, you can subscribe, like, uh, leave your comments under the video, and tell us what you want to see on our channel. I'll see you next time.